So one of the things I love more than editing is saving time while I'm editing. Is that true? Yeah, I don't wanna waste time while I'm editing. So I wanna introduce you to something called an adjustment layer, and it will save you a ton of time. Oh, if you're in Australia, a heap of time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use an adjustment layer in Final Cut Pro 10. Hey there, I'm Kevin Colby, and on this channel, I love helping people like you share your passion and impact the world with online video and marketing. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Now look, full disclosure, Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't come with an adjustment layer built in, but if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you how to get one for free. So let's hop on the computer and I'll show you what you can do with an adjustment layer in Final Cut Pro. Let's just start a, a new project. Uh, we're gonna call this a uh, adjustable layer test. Again, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually in a, um, a project I've already done. I, I, I was doing some projects for the church we go to and, and we were doing this Jesus story. And so I inter interviewed a lot of folks and had their story. So uh, we're gonna do this in here. So this is, uh, this is one of the interviews I did with, you know, with Joey. So let's just say we're gonna, I'm just gonna cut uh, some stuff here. And it's, I'm not really worried about the audio right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do this, and we're just going to zero all the audio out so we don't have that distraction. Um, and, and again, I'm, I'm doing this kind of fast, but it you'll get the idea, right? So let's just say he's talking there, and we've got this, and then we want to cut to here, and then we want to cut to there. So if you notice right now, it doesn't look that bad, right? Just say, yeah. So if... If I, and let's say I had other shots in here, uh, here's one from, that's going to tell me that I'm, I'm, um, you know, crossing, um, oh, it should have said, well, sometimes it'll say that you're mixing libraries, so, um, oh, you know what, because I'm in the same library. Um, so let's go back to, to this right here. So let's say they were shot on different days, obviously a little different look. So there's so many different things you can do when you're color correcting. So one of the things that I use my adjustment layer for a lot is setting color. But let's just say, well, we're gonna do that right now. So if I didn't do that, um, let's say that I've got all these uh, edits in here and we're gonna do an edit there and uh, let's do another one here and let's do another one there and let's do another one there and I don't want that one so you could you could quickly see how if you were doing a lot of different edits and if I wanted to go in and let's say change the color of that one I can go up to my color wheels and I can adjust it now I'm not gonna pull a scope up now but because I, I want to just give you kind of an idea of how it works so let's say I kinda ooh I like that I'm gonna tweak it a little here get a little darker uh, I'm going to go down here and uh, just add a little saturation to it. So I like that. But then I'm playing it along and all of a sudden, oh man, I didn't do that one. Well, one way to do this is I can copy this effect and I can, I'd can i have to paste it on each one of these. Or what's better, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo everything I just did. Oops, including the edit, evidently. Um, so again, this is to me how I use it all the time. So I wanna go up here and I'm gonna to go to, I always forget if it's titles or, uh, there we go, adjustment layer. Now what happens is when you do this, it doesn't look like you've added anything, right? But again, let's say I'm gonna drag this out, you can, Things like titles and stuff like that, you can make it as, as long or as short as you want, right? I have snapping. This is snapping turned on. You, you notice with it on, it, it quickly does that. So right now, I will adjust the color on the top layer. Oh. And so by doing that, assuming my shots were fairly the same when I shot them, look what happens. They're all the same now. So even here... and there, and even the one I dropped in of Caitlin. So to show you what it looks like before and after, there's the original, there's that. 
So what happens is I can do the color effect on the adjustment layer and it affects everything underneath. So now you've got the idea how you can add, let's say you've got a long video and you've got a lot of edits in there, but it's primarily the same shot, uh, different maybe different angles. By dropping the effect on the adjustment layer, it'll save a ton of time. But you can do other things with it. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna add another adjustment layer and we're gonna add this one. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna drag it out and we're gonna add this one over Caitlin, another lady we worked with. And I'm gonna use Bloom on this one. And here's the thing, you can't have too many adjustment layers. You can go on and on and on. So let's say you go up here and we really wanna bloom that one out. We wanna change the color, make sure we're on that. Uh, the amount, the brightness. So I'm, I'm, I'm really just gonna jank with this so you can see what it, what it looks like, right? Uh, we're gonna add tint. So, you get to here and all of a sudden, bang, you've done that. Well, if I want that adjustment layer on this shot, I can do it and do it. Now, again, that's, that's, a, <laughs> that's a hideous uh, effect. But what happens is I haven't affected the original shot because here's the original shot down here. So if I turn the uh, adjustment layer off and even the, t the color correction, look at that. So they're all still there. So you can do so many different things. What if I wanted to zoom in on this one shot here? Again, I could add an adjustment layer. So you can, you can add an adjustment layer for almost anything you want. And let's say here, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna add just a couple more edits here. And every time uh, I want to reuse that again here. I can cut and paste it here. And so here's what happens is now as it goes along, it's going to zoom in. So I think you can start seeing how you can use adjustment layers. I use them far more for color grading. You can have, and you could, you could create your own adjustment layer. So you can have an adjustment layer with your own color. You could have an adjustment layer with certain moves, but it will save you a ton of of time. Ain't that the coolest thing ever? Look, if you use an adjustment layer for other reasons, let me know in the comments. And if you would like to get your very own adjustment layer, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is click it, download it. It's totally free. I'd love you to have it because it will save you a ton of time. And speaking of Final Cut Pro, check out these other videos about some amazing things you can do. I'm Kevin. See you next time on the tube.